Hey, how's it going? Mr. Bill here today, and today I'm going to show you how to subtractively add more high frequencies to a kick drum. So I'm working on this tune now, it sounds like this. And uh, what I've done is I've um, synthesized the kick drum, so we have the body and the snap, so the snap's not, not quite enough for me. So we can hear there is a little bit of snap there, but it's, it's not quite doing it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a return track by right clicking and just choosing insert return track. I'm going to make it a pre-fader return track by clicking down here where it says post. Turn that on to pre. And then I'm going to drop an EQ8 into this channel. I'm going to cut all the low frequencies and a little bit of the high frequencies. And then I'm going to put a compressor after it just to make it a little bit louder. I'm not going to use that just yet. And what I'm going to do is just turn the send up on this kick channel to send to this EQ, which is just playing high frequencies. So we'll turn that up. So we can hear it's added a little bit of snap already if we just listen to the send. You can hear that all, all it is is just high frequencies. And then if we compress that by bringing the threshold down, That's just the snap of the kick drum. Turn the output up a little bit. Now if we turn this send down, we listen. Just gonna listen to this kick. So that's it without without the send, and then if we turn it up, you can hear it starts to add snap to the send. And you can tweak this compressor and EQ to taste. So what we've done is we've uh, subtractively EQ'd to add more frequencies to the kick rather than put the EQ after the kick and pushed all the high frequencies like this because that can cause artifacts and sound a bit digital. So now if we listen to that kick with the mix it should sound a little bit better. So that sounds nice and snappy now. So yeah, that's how you go about subtractively adding more frequencies to your mix. And you can do this with any frequency band, not just the highs, you obviously can put the poles of the EQ anywhere you want. You can uh, you know, take a cut out of there and just add more 2K and 12K if you want. Or um, yeah, it's, it's limitless to what you can do really. You can, you can just EQ whatever. Um, the other thing that I, I did in my previous tutorial was New York compression where I created a return track mm -hmm. and added an EQ to it and then cut all the mids out of it and then uh, compressed after after that and that's adding, adding more uh, low, low frequencies and high frequencies which makes it sound a little bit more um, punchier and snappier but for today I just wanted to add snap to my kick drum so I thought I'd show you how to do it so yeah cheers for watching hopefully you got something out of that and can do some cool things to your mix with it and um, yeah go to mrbillstunes.com check out more free tutorials and such cheers take it easy